As a cartoonist, I've learned that only a fraction of my art generates income. One of the reasons is that true artists make it a point to exercise their creativity every day, even when their idea basket runs low. That's known as practice, practice, practice. And this cartoon represents one of my practice days. The day I drew this, I wondered why, if missing children were on milk cartons, missing husbands couldn't be on beer cans. Well, it was a clever idea, but to be honest, I never made a dime off it. I never threw it away either because I don't throw anything away. And not only did I save it, I saved it in the original format with separate layers. You'll hear me speak a lot about layers in my videos, and I'm about to show you more reasons. Now fast forward several months. I came up with a new idea for using the beer can, and since I had saved the image in layers, I was able to remove just the label and keep the can intact. You might not notice it here, but I still have two layers. The can itself is one layer. The second layer holds those bright reflections on the can surface. Now we can begin to recycle our beer can by elevating it and tipping it into a new position. And finally, we add our new label and a punchline to go with it. As a point of interest, notice that I was able to slip the new label between the can layer and the reflection layer. I'm happy to report that even though I earned nothing from my missing husband's design, I made money from this design with only minor revisions. Okay, now let's look at another way to recycle cartoons. I like to dabble in cartoons of classic cars, like this 1959 Buick. I actually owned one of these in my younger days, but now I digress. Anyway, getting back to the real point here, this Buick is drawn in lots of layers. Layers that can each be reused. But let's hold that thought for a moment and fast forward to a completely different car. This is a Ford Mustang from the 1960s. It's a work in progress. But I can save myself some work here by using parts from other cars I've drawn. Think back to our Buick. What do these cars have in common? The Buick and the Mustang both have headlights and they both have tires. So let's copy and paste just the lights and tires from our Buick cartoon. When we do, the tires look pretty good the way they are. But those lights are way off. There's too many of them and they don't line up. But fixing these lights is still going to be easier than drawing them from scratch. By using layers again, we can manipulate only the headlights, leaving the car body and tires where they were. In other words, we can enlarge them a bit and move them around to line up with the headlight frames. Oh sure, we still have an extra set of headlights peeking through the grill opening, but when I fill in the grill, those extra lights will be covered up. Or I'll just erase them before I even start on the grill. But there's even one more important way to recycle cartoons. Let's use our black Buick again as an example. Overall, this drawing represents a fair amount of work. But what if someone told me they would buy this cartoon on a t-shirt if the Buick were blue instead of black? Well, first of all, I'm not going to create dozens of Buicks in advance just in case someone wants another one of the zillion colors possible. Would I redraw it? I think not. Or would I try to use brush strokes to change the color on just the black parts? Again, no way. That would be like microsurgery. Instead, I would once again take advantage of the layers I used by changing only the black body parts to blue, and it would take mere seconds, not minutes or hours. Part of my satisfaction guarantee as owner and artist of Creative Quickies is that I'll provide color changes within the first 30 days following completion of a cartoon. As you can see, that's not a suicide pact. It just requires planning ahead and using layers. By the way, I have another confession to make. I went to a lot more trouble making this video than I would ever encounter on my own. I don't cut and paste layers from previous drawings as I did here. I actually store commonly used items in special library folders to use as props. In other words, those tires and headlights I copied and pasted from the Buick would have really come from the props folder. And I would have been able to retrieve just one headlight at a time, not four. Anyway, as I've always said before, this is Clarence. Happy cartooning and use your software wisely.